We live on 200 islands. The highest point on any of these islands is just 1.5 meters above sea level. Um, and then if you run any of these scenarios of sea level rise, you would very much realize that within no time, we would be underwater. Um, this is a very real threat to us. Even now, a number of islanders are having to move homes um, from where they live to elsewhere. There's a serious erosion problem, uh, coastal erosion problems. Um, so that's very real and it's happening now. The injustice of it all um, is very much felt, um, especially when people know more about um, why these climate changes are happening. Uh, they understand that it has nothing to do with them, that they didn't do any of these things. During the last four or five years, our fish catch has really come down quite substantially. Um, part of the reasons I am told is because uh, the oceans are warmer and therefore um, the tuna is not surfacing enough. We fish one by one. To do that, uh, the, the school of fish has to come up. You know, in our mind it's the right to life. Um, we will die if this goes on um, and therefore you know we have a, a fundamental right for life and if that is challenged and if we are to maintain that we have to link this to be a human rights issue it's not only an environment issue and also we also feel that this is not just only a human rights issue but it's also a, 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 re a security issue So we feel that you know we are on, we are one of the frontline states of a, 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 a of a security threat, um, and and we feel that countries should be defending frontline states. And if you cannot defend the Maldives today, um, you will not be able to defend yourself tomorrow. If Europeans thought that it was important to defend Poland in the 30s, then it is important to defend the Maldives now. If it was important to defend Vietnam in the 50s and 60s then it is important to defend the Maldives now. Traditionally, we've always thought or highlighted saying that adaptation represents physical structures, remitments, embankments, breakwaters and so on. But we feel that uh, one of the biggest, the most important adaptation issue is good governance. Um, and uh, therefore, consolidating democracy is very important for adaptation. Uh, when climate change and when you feel, when you start feeling the actual impacts of it, uh, you would be wasting all the resources that you have without a proper governance system. So uh, we feel that um, democracy and good governance is very, very important for adaptation. Um, if you are to make good use of the resources that you have, um, you have to be able to have a proper governance system. In a nutshell, I would like to say what has already been said, don't be stupid. Going on and on about who did it is not going to save us. This is the time to realize that the deed is done. So let's see how we may be able to proceed from here. If you have some money, please give it to someone who doesn't have. If you have technology, please give it to someone who, ha who doesn't have that technology. And, and uh, there is no point pointing fingers.